Good afternoon everyone and uh, old duffers and Swindon supporters. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, woke up to snow this morning and gale force winds but it seems to have settled down a bit now. Even had a bit of sunshine on the way so we're off into the county ground for our game today against Haringey? Harrogate. 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 Harringay's in London. How is it? Big difference. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope, I hope the right team's turned up. Right, Harringay. Uh, and we've got a very, very special guest in the car with us today again. Uh, now becomes an honorary duffer. He was a young duffer, but now he's an honorary full duffer. <laughs> you can just see his arm there. Oh, there he is! Hello. It's the oh, Daz Doncaster. Mr. Daz Doncaster. Right, there. so Russ is here, he's driving yeah, away, all wrapped up in a woolly pulley. I mean, it works, it's five, bloody right. right. Okay, mate, so what do you think the score's going to be today? Oh, what you want today? I'm going to go, right, I'm going to go. You're going to go? 3 0 town. 3 0 yeah, town, I'm God. Gonna go 3 0 town. Right, okay, 3-0 town. Tuesday nights, I think it's going to spur us on today, it's going to drive us in today. Okay, right, and now we can ask Daz for his prediction. Yeah. It's going to be 4-0 town. Wow. Wow, some goals Lots today. Goals. Right, Definitely Dad. some goals, because no. my prediction that I gave last night to somebody was 4-3 wow. to town. So, there's going to be some goals today. And I'm going to put five pounds on at the bookies on that result, and the winnings will go to charity. Okay, so that's a promise. But I'm going to put five pounds on on four three, and if it wins, because I've won the last two weeks these predictions, you know, getting good at it now. So <laughs> I'm going four three to the town. Okay, cheers. So we're here and all parked up. We've uh, dropped Daz off, he's gone to the pub, and uh, we're now here ready for some shopping at the range. That's yeah, where we are, isn't it? I want to go look at the Christmas decks. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got to I've get got some... some nice dangling baubles there. You can't say that. I've got some nice... <laughs> I've got to pick up some nice bits. Some bits for the tree. Nice, yeah. Right. Yeah. Need... Yeah, so I'm uh, looking forward to a good day shopping at the range. Happy days. Hey Russ, what? Didn't you need a new kettle for the kitchen? I don't really care, it's not windy. I'm going to pick that up. I'm an old man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. What's this? Okay, it's okay. It's the uh, missus for Christmas. No, she could write that. Uh, I don't know what it is. I think that is going under here. I don't know, mate. It's a bit... Uh, I think... I think it was industrial to me. Definitely. the support club hospital appeal. So, gangsters, that, t-shirt, costumes. So, uh, loads of stuff there. Let's get into the club now, over in London. So, crack in. Happy Christmas. Christmas. Well, on the way now, and it's bloody freezing. Good job, Kev, don't fill the car, did you, Kev, mate? Right. Look at that. Well, apart from the weather, it's going to be about 28 degrees to the Met Office, it's 3 degrees now, with a wind to a factor of minus 4. Right, so. So I've, we've just been to Iceland, bought some food and just left it in the car because it's going to stay frozen, isn't it? It ain't going to fall out. And uh, we're gonna, we've just been in the county ground. I am here. It is, So we're on the way to the county ground. It's absolutely freezing. There's a gale force wind blowing town end to Stratton Bank. Uh, so we've predicted now that it's going to be 6 nil to whoever's playing that way in the first half and it'll be six each <laughs> at the end of the game because <laughs> it is real gale force and it is freezing cold I wonder how many of these players are going to have tights on today keeping themselves warm I've got tights on but then that's normal oh, I've got oh. long johns on <laughs> sexy does he know? does he know? John? yeah yeah he knows yeah. oh that's good then 
Yeah. You can see there, look, look, as you walk in, you can see. Oh, look at the flag, Russ. Right, look at that flag. That's going to be fun today. That's going to be fun. But anyway, guys, I'm going to we'll catch up in a bit. Legends! Legends! <laughs> Join the British Army. This is what you look like. He's looking fit, isn't he? Yeah. He's looking fit. Yeah. He's eating up, isn't he? See, this is food. Isn't it? This is yeah. this is the armed forces boy. Look, he's hardened to the cold. He doesn't feel it. Look, it brings purpose to the cold. <laughs> Here we are at the old uh, County Ground Hotel, which we're going to pop into now. So, the old Duffy's there. Okay. So, we So it's predictor score time and we're in the county ground, the pub. So this gentleman here, what's your name? Dave. Dave is going to predict 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, three, two. <laughs> we're doing that for the music. And this lovely lady, your name? Nat. Nat. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1. 1 Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, let's get a few more predictions. So, Jack, what do you think the score is going to be today? 3-0 okay. Swindon. 3-0 three three nil nil. Swindon. Well, a lot of goals again. Still, everyone's predicting goals. Sorry, what's your name? Robbie. 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 What do you think the score is going to be? Oh, I think Town will win 4-1. Four 4-1. One. Four one. So, lots of goals today. Sorry, mate. What was your name? Craig. Craig. Yes, Craig. Mate. What do you think the score is going to be today, Craig? Oh, I reckon it's going to be three-one Swindon. Three-one. Still lots of goals, so it should be a good game. Yeah, I reckon. Everyone's one. predicting goals today. Wind affected. Absolutely, wind affected. Yeah. Absolutely. Sprinklers going up. They're going up. That wind is going up. So trouble. Trouble. Yeah. He's on the. He's on the left. There he is. Nice. So you get up, it'll be half time. Jeff, what do you think so far, mate? It's not very good at the moment. No, no. Conditions are really good in the game. We can't play on the other way. We get locked in, but if you go in at half time, 1 0 down, that's probably the right result, the way the wind's blowing. We can uh, get, certainly get this back second half. Yeah, it's been a bit, uh, you know, with the winds, it's had a big effect on the game. But we'll see what happens, nearly half time. Oh. 
Ooh, so one all final score. I think it's what we probably would have taken halfway through the second half when we were losing 1 0. But really, in the end, we should have uh, took all three points. And I think the man that cost us the three points was a referee that didn't like to make any decision. Uh, that, you know, we could have had a couple of penalties. A um, couple of theirs should have been sent off. I know maybe I'm biased because I'm a Swindon supporter, but I didn't think he was that good today. I thought, well, in fact, he was shocking, wasn't he? If you can't, if you can't make decisions, um, he shouldn't be out there. And he wasn't very good. But, you know, I don't think we were at our best performance, but uh, second half, we went for it much a little bit. Much better second half. Much better second half we went, when we were going for it. And, uh, yeah. The, uh, a point is probably a good result and I'd have taken that in the conditions, their position in the league, the strength, the height, the wind, everything put in together, I think was a, probably the right result. Right. Yeah, totally agree with that. I think the conditions today were awful. No one for watching for playing in, but referee, I mean, he's, he's booked to Ian Dollo, isn't he? Landolo for bloody diving when he got his legs took out from him. And when you watch it tonight, you'll see his just, legs were just he was fouled in the box, it's a penalty. No doubt about it, he books him for diving. He don't Fucking, dive, does he? No. He don't dive, he's the end of the player, really. I'm sure he wasn't, you know. Um, but, you know, another point on the board. We didn't lose, we didn't We lose. didn't lose, no, we'll go again. It was a good game, really. Good game, cup, second cup half. Next week. Uh, FA Cup next week. FA Cup and on to Warsaw. <laughs> See you all there. Bye. Right, so a few of you have been asking how the diet's going, so I'll update you now. We started five weeks ago, um, I was 15 stone 4 pounds, and I'm now down to 13 stone 12 pounds. So I've lost 1 stone and 4 pounds in the five weeks, and we're still going. Uh, Russ started at 16, two, 16 stone 2 pounds. He has lost, uh, what's he lost? A stone. Russell's lost a stone in total. He lost two pounds this week, so he's lost a stone in total. And I know he still wants to go on, so we're, we're battling through. Um, if you see us eating at Bull Ball, that's probably the only meal we're going to have all day. One hot dog, one hamburger, or maybe a pie sometimes. So uh, that's how we do it. Saturdays is our luxury day, and that luxury is normally football food. <laughs> but the rest of the week, we're starving, um, and we're doing some... Um, some exercise as well too, stepping up the exercise because really this has got to be a life uh, lifestyle change rather than a, you know lose it all and put it all on back on again. So uh, that's how we're doing. Cheers. <laughs>